We set off for the northern region to refuel. This place is paradise compared to what's further ahead. Beyond our destination lies the closed gate to Nord Belka. Fifteen years ago, the Belkans set off seven nuclear bombs there to stave off the advancing Allied forces, entombing themselves in the frozen valleys to the north. That bit of history should have been enough of a lesson for us all. The seven Belkan cities near the gate were vaporized, and the local area is still highly radioactive. Our landing point was in the state of North Osir, formerly a haven for Belkans, but now entrusted to Osir. If you refer to it by that name, it's going to be local he will put a scowl on his face and tell you that this is South Belka. Higher Lark meant a lot to us. Our flight training took place here on this airfield. On the base, we were surrounded by junior cadets, eager to hear war stories. The newspaper article about us, written by that journalist Jeanette, made it here faster than we did. Somewhere along the line, we had become the most experienced pilots in the entire world. directed to take these inexperienced pilots back with us to Sand Island when we return. Man, we better thank Pops for this. Like that. Cuz, he's the guy who pounded basic fighter maneuvers into us. Now we can lord it over all these guys. You said it. These pilots had only a tenuous grasp of flying, much less mid-air refueling, so we had to land at every base along the way. I can't believe we have to send them off to guard the western coastline. An SSTO craft launch facility lies to the east of our current location, McNeely Air Force Base. The facility was a collaborative project between Osea and Yuktabani. It was built to be a bridge to outer space, with a mass driver 7.5 miles in length. Our radar has detected several planes from a Yuktabanian squadron approaching the facility from several directions. The facility is currently conducting pre-launch operations for an SSTO craft. The base commander will provide you with further orders. This is the commander of McNeely Air Force Base. All units, including those refueling at this base, are now under my command. Engage the incoming enemy. All untrained pilots are barred from taking off. Those guys are still kids. this space center well. The mass driver was built by Osea and Yuktabania as part of their collaborative efforts to construct an international space station. Our anti-war president used the surplus funds that came from cutting the defense budget to build it. Is that the Ark Bird? The Ark Bird. A white bird built as the first step toward the realization of the space station project. Now it's left its orbit and is just low enough to graze the atmosphere. It's coming down to pick up the laser cannon they're about to launch. They were building a bridge of peace that would span into outer space. Not anymore. The machinery meant for this peaceful mission was about to be used for our counterattack. Hey, listen. Yes? Isn't that thing supposed to work like a satellite? Why did it climb down all this way? It's a maneuverable orbiting spacecraft. I know that. I'm just saying, if the system uses atmospheric friction to change its orbit, then wouldn't that make it pretty hard to defend itself? Hmm. I guess it'd be in trouble if someone started firing at it right now. 
Yeah, so shouldn't it be higher up then? Continue countdown. Three minutes to launch. Halt the countdown. Enemy incoming. This is the Base Air Defense Command. The enemy has a large formation of transport planes escorted by a squadron of fighters. They're conducting an air assault to capture this base. What? They're actually planning to invade Osea? If we shoot the parachutes before the tanks detach, we'll smash them into the ground. You with me? I guess we don't have any other choice. I can't believe that's our strategy. Airborne tanks are dropping from the transport plane. Can you count all those parachutes? I gave up already. Destroy all airborne ACVs. Engage them in the air and on ground. The ACVs are moving this way. Don't let them get near the mass driver. This is bad news. We better shoot them fast before they touch the ground. Big missiles coming this way! Come on, baby, don't hit us. Just let us land safely. Protect the units until they land safely. Tanks parachuting down in large numbers. You're kidding, they're trying to capture this place? It's all over if the tanks break through. Blaze, do you think our forces are sufficient? I'd like to think so too. But they even had to call us out, you know. This is the West Sector Defense Force. The enemy has broken through Pillbox 1. This is the Northeast Sector Defense Force. The enemy has broken through Pillbox 1. Do the ground forces have any anti-tank units? Are they gonna be okay? I don't know, but either way, we can't let those things reach the ground. This is the Northwest Sector Defense Force. The enemy has broken through Pillbox 1. Captain, the enemy is spread out over a large area. Should we split up to engage them? Roger, don't worry, I can handle it. Archer, breaking off! This is the Northeast Sector Defense Force. Pillbox 2 has been breached. Number 12's parachute was shot away! It's in free fall! We need some help here! How much longer are you gonna let a play target practice with us? This isn't funny! These tanks are gonna turn into our coffins soon! Multiple enemy aircraft overhead! They're coming this way! Our ground defense line is collapsing! They're gonna get overrun! Now descending. All systems go. Use the trailers to form a barricade. We can't shoot them all down. We can only thin out their numbers. Number 8 just took a direct hit and exploded! The enemy tanks are heading for the base! We don't allow the enemy near our force. Be careful. Avoid firing on your allies. They're descending over here! Retreat! We're getting requests from every team to restart the launch. The tanks are mobilizing away from their landing point. They're all scattering in drones the moment they touch ground. There's too many of them. We can't take them all out in the air. Attention Allied planes! Destroy all approaching enemy tanks! Damn it, we're caught in a crossfire! They're firing us from below, too! We do have parachutes for our tank crews, right? I hate having to shoot you after you finally touch ground and all, but... Sorry.
I never liked tanks. Now I really hate them. I'll try one more time to convince the higher-ups to launch. That was a nasty shot, Wayne. You sure we'll be able to land safely? All Yuktabani and ACVs destroyed. Our thanks to all Allied aircraft. That should be most of them. It looks like they've abandoned the ground invasion and decided to just destroy the base. Wipe out the remaining enemy forces. Make an effort to minimize any damage to the mass driver. Large number of cruise missiles tracked on the outer edge of our radar coverage. All fighters, engage and destroy these cruise missiles. Captain, can you detect the cruise missiles from there? I picked them up as well. They're heading for the facility. Look at all those missiles. The SSTO is going to get hit if this keeps up. This is Flight Director Adam Gittleman. Continue SSTO launch. Recommence launch sequence. Attention all personnel. We only have one chance to launch. Let's all do our jobs and see this through to the very end. That is all. Weather team, roger. Flight control team, roger. Guidance team, roger! Confirmed kill on a bomber. Those must be the aircraft behind those cruise missiles. I can't shoot them all down! You'll do fine. Stay calm and you won't miss. Missile trajectories detected! Moving to intercept! My plane can't keep up with them! Whoa, that was close. Come on, we can't waste any more time! I want you to ensure all comm lines stay open. We've got it covered, sir. Three modes of communication. Wired, wireless, and runners. Four minutes to launch. Hold them off till then. Four minutes? We won't last that long! Blaze, do you know why the Arkbird was built? It sure wasn't built for missions like this. Seal off D-Block. Nobody's left in there, right? We're being pushed back, little by little.
final check on the remote measurement units. Uh, sorry, sir. Remote measurement units check complete. One minute left. Have a safe trip. Damn it! Is this it for us? The Air Force will get us through this. I know they will, so don't give up! STO status report. Everything's clear. All systems are go. Yeah, I'm seeing it now. It's a beautiful sight. This is great. Observation room reporting. The SSTO is climbing smoothly. Congratulations. <laughs> The white bird rose up once again, laser cannon in its wings. It was a moving sight. In my heart, though, I wished it didn't have to be used in war. None of them found out why the enemy targeted the base until much later. Of course, by that time, it was too late. We prevented the Yuktobanian army from capturing the launch facility. The SSTO launch was successful. The SSTO docked with the Arkbird, which had descended into the upper atmosphere, and successfully transferred a laser weapon module over to the craft. All aircraft with 108th Tactical Fighter Squadron and the Sand Island Detachment return to base as soon as rearming and refueling operations are complete.